What's up everybody? It's week 51. It is much more pleasant than last week. A lot warmer. It's going to be mid 50s today. So beautiful day. There's some snow on the mountain back there, but it's nice and warm down here. Let's ride. All right, so I'll just talk a little about about an equipment issue I've been having recently. So I've been running tubeless for a while. I've got these Shimano Altegra wheels that I've had for quite a while. It's at least five years. I've really enjoyed them. They're like very durable. Only had to have them trued once. No issues. Um, but <laughs> I do run sealant with tubeless and these wheels are so old that at the time like you technically weren't supposed to run sealant in there because it can corrode the rim. And that actually has begun to happen. So what happened is it, it mostly is centered around where the valve stem goes. So the valve stems <laughs> are not wanting to seal up and I've tried to tape them up, but it doesn't really work that well. Eventually they'll seal, but it's like a huge pain in the balls. Um, the front one is doing a lot better than the rear. So I switched to a tube setup on the rear, which obviously is giving me issues with flats. And I had two flats last week. No, I only had one, but it was like a double puncture at the same time. So one flat, whatever you want to say. So. A while ago, at the end of November, I bought these Tubolito tubes. And so this one is the City Tour tube, which they give you a warranty on for a year. They say no flats in a year or they'll replace it. So I thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in it to tell you the truth, but let's see how it goes. Um, so I ordered at the end of November from Bike In, which I believe I've ordered from them before. I think I've ordered some bottle cages from them before, but this, I ordered that and I ordered like a cheapo rear tire, a Zafiro rear tire, because these um, tubes, the City Tour at least, the smallest they come in is 30. So I bought a 30 rear tire because I usually run 28s. But so I bought that cheapo Zafiro 30C rear tire with the tube <laughs> at the end of November and just got it a few days ago. Like this one actually came from Europe and <laughs> the tire I got is actually not foldable. So it came in a huge bag, like the tire's not folded at all, which is weird. Like I understand it's probably cheaper to manufacture a tire that's not foldable because it was like a dollar or something cheaper than the foldable version so i went and got it that way but i mean doesn't the shipping outweigh that i guess not but anyway it took forever to get here just installed the tube a few days ago uh two days ago i think so this is like my third ride on it today and you know i, I think it's only been like maybe 40 miles so far but no puncture so far so far so good <laughs> which around here it's actually an accomplishment anytime i was riding like on my regular tube setup and i didn't have a flat that day it felt like a lucky day but anyway as far as the weight because the tube the city tour tube is a size for a minimum of 30 it's kind of a bigger tube so it was actually about the same weight as my regular inner tube. It was actually like a couple grams heavier. But, and it, the benefit of these, uh, I think how they market it is, you can pack this and they they uh, fold up really small. They're like less bulky, so they would fit in your seat bag easier. But this one, like I said, since it's a 30, it's about the same size as like a regular 23 to 28C regular inner tube you would use so really the main benefit has to be puncture protection at this point because the tube itself costs over twenty dollars so if there is no puncture benefit then it's kind of a waste of money at this point so we'll see how it goes uh, like i said i don't have really big expectations for it if it does end up 
not having punctures for a year like that would be amazing and it actually would end up being cheaper than running tubeless because tubeless tires you know they tend to be a little bit more expensive and a sealant isn't free obviously so yeah early times i'm about 20 miles into this ride so i have maybe 60 miles on it it feels i don't know if, it, if they claim it has less rolling resistance but it feels about the same as a tube setup to me so no problem so far the one issue that i could see coming up is that the valve stem it's basically a plastic valve stem except there's a little metal part where the you know where the press the head screws together so i don't know that kind of scares me a little bit like over time will that wear out but otherwise we'll see how it goes That's it for week 51. I feel a lot better than I did last week. Mostly because it was warmer. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. So there's one more week to go. See you next week.